Let me start by paying my condolences to the House of Community in Ipe and the Governor and the people of Oshun State. I saw a very horrible video of the incident. I think that video, if there is a way, uh, they should stop airing that video because when I started seeing the video, I couldn't contain myself. I couldn't watch the video to the end. What happens to me is partly pillow of leadership from both the federal and state government because our constitution is very clear. If you go to section 14.2b, it says in no uncertain terms that the protection of life and property is a primary function of government. If in a state, what I saw happen in Ipi, if we allow such things to happen in other states, we will wake up one day and we will not have a country. Because I came yesterday on this issue because of the phone call I was receiving from my constituent on what happened. And many people are migrating from Oshun to Kano. And I know incidents like that when they happen, and when this type of migrations happen, what usually comes about. So I believe what this motion is doing actually is trying to lower the temperature and to show the people that the government is concerned and to show the people that the government is willing and able and that something will be done about the people who lost their life. That is why I have submitted an amendment where I requested that those who lost their life and property should be compensated by the state government. But I, before I sit down, I want to condemn in the strongest term, in the very strongest term, the mainstream media. What the mainstream media did in this case is actually not trying to lower the tension or to bring about an end to the problem, but expose it. What they did was to simply black out every news of what happened in Ileipe. I think that is very, very bad. When the mainstream media refused to carry the news, that is why you have it everywhere on social media. Not only do you have the news now, you have the videos, and those videos are too horrific for anybody. So I believe the state government and all other state government where instances like this are happening should see that something is done. To show us that Nigeria is in serious crisis and the government needs to do more in the area of protection of life and security, Mr. Speaker, just look at item 7 in our order paper, item nine, 8 and item 9. They are all talking of the same thing. Breach of security everywhere in the country. Our government needs to sit up and see that what we have in our constitution is just not there for decoration. It is not there for decoration. The government should protect the life and property of every citizen, be him Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, Tuvi, Kanuri, from any part of the country. That is when we can have a country. That, one, that is when we can have a sense of belonging from everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Honorable. To the families of all those who loved, lost their lives and property during the crisis. The two together, but I will take care. Uh... The Committee on Police Affairs to investigate and find the root cause of the crisis and offer a solution to abate future occurrence. These are my two amendments. 